Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This equilibrium problem tells us that a construction crew wants to support this 1,000 kilogram steel beam with two angled ropes, as we have in this picture here. And they say that the rope can support a maximum tension of 5,600 newtons. And we need to figure out if the rope's strong enough to do that. I like to draw the free body diagram first because I feel like it really helps to conceptualize things in these problems. So we have our two ropes here, and it's going to be tension in both of them. And the tension will be equal because they're holding the beam at the same degree of 30 degrees. So right here, instead of putting 30, let's just put theta. This will be a little easier to write it in our equations. And then, of course, we also have weight coming straight down and weight. So here is the free body diagram, and they told us a few more pieces of information in the question. They tell us that the mass of the beam is 1,000 kilograms, and then they tell us that the maximum tension, so T max, is equal to 5,600 newtons. So next, let's sum our forces in the Y direction. So sum of forces in the Y, we have tension, in the y direction plus another tension that's the same in the y direction and then we also have weight i'll just put plus w obviously we're going to put minus w here in just a second and then that is equal to zero newtons because there is no acceleration it's an equilibrium so static equilibrium so we can combine this so we have two times the tension in the y direction Obviously, W is negative because it's going in the negative y direction, so it will be minus W, and that's equal to zero. And we can add W over to the other side, so we have 2T is equal to the weight. And of course, we can substitute in the weight for mg, so 2T is equal to mg. Now, we're looking at the forces in the y direction, so it's not t that we're really looking at we're looking at the y component of t so it's going to be adjacent to the angle because right here is the y component of these two vectors so we have 2 times t cosine of 30 for the y component is equal to mg and then let's come over here just to give us a little bit more room and we want to isolate t so we'll divide both sides of the equation by 2 cosine of 30. So now that will cancel. And now what we'll be left with is tension is equal to mg divided by 2 cosine of 30. And when we plug in our numbers, the mass, of course, is 1,000 kilogram beam. And then gravity for g, obviously, is 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we'll divide all of that, as we said, by 2 cosine of 30 degrees. When we come to the calculator here, we have 1,000 times 9.8. And then that'll be divided by 2 cosine of 30. So for the total tension for the ropes is 5,658. So we could say 5,658 newtons is the tension, but the maximum tension that it can have is 5,600. So we're over the maximum tensions that these ropes can handle, so the rope will break. 